What it do, what it do, it's your boy Feast. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I wanna to talk about, be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, um, and be sure to share this video. And today we're just gonna talk about why goals are important and why goals drive life. <clears throat> when we wake up in the morning, we need to have purpose other than the duty, you know, for most parents, hey, I wake up, I gotta take care of my kids. You may hear some people say, hey, I live for my kids, I'm here, I'm only for, th I'm only here for them. But what about yourself? Everybody wants to have something worth looking forward to and it, it doesn't have to consist of another person. And what that simply means is, we wanna wake up with, with, with a destination on our mind. The way to look at it is, just think about waking up and or just look at a ship with no with no captain, with nobody to steer it. If a ship leaves leaves barge and it's, it doesn't have a, a pilot, it doesn't have a captain to steer that ship. Chances are that ship gonna be all over the place. That's how life works. That's how your life works. That's how my life works. So that's why goals, setting goals, is the is the most important thing to life. One time I um. I was, I visited a, 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 like an old friend and she had kids, of course. And I was around and I wanted to ask, I just caught a vibe like, let me just ask her son, who do he look up to? And, you know, is, is he driven? I understand he have a job, but just talking to him, I can know whether he's on, the, you know, on, on a good track. So I asked a young man, who do he look up to? Like, who do he idolize? Who do he look up to? And he said, he couldn't give me an answer because the thought had never crossed his mind. Like, um, and I asked him about his job. I was like, hey man, you like it? You, you know, he was like, yeah, it's a job. And I could tell in that moment, I said, man, he don't have any goals set. And I don't care if it's something small as saying, uh, I'm going to get paid four times this month. That's if you get paid weekly. I'm going to put up three checks, and I'm just only going to spend one. That's a goal. That's a goal. It can be something so small. That's a goal. You know, we set finance goals. We set fitness goals. We set, you know, you know, the life goals are the ones that they, they are connected to our whys. Like, why? Why do we wake up every morning? Why do we... Well, uh, you know, other than having to wake up and go to work, what, you, you have to ask yourself, what are your whys? So setting a goal, man, it drives life. And I used to always wonder that. I, um, you know, I listened in to these philosophers and these people that done studied the world. They've been here. They, they, hey, they wanted to know. Earl Nightingale, you always hear me talk about Earl Nightingale. He's one of the ones, man, like you, could just, you can just look him up. He's one of the ones that would give you understanding on that. Like understanding is key. And he wanted the ones that would make that make sense. Cause as soon as you set one goal, you know, you'll hear people tell you, man, you, you, man, you always doing something. You always got something going on. You are like, you're doing too much. I know people have always made me feel that way. Like, man, I can be telling them about a car I'm fixing up. And then as soon as I get it done, I'm just like, okay, it's done. Okay. Now nah, I want to do something else. It, it works the same way. Like people don't know, man, that, you know, cause as soon as you set another goal now, you're waking up every day trying to complete and get to that point. You know, and those are the things that make you sit in there and those are the things that give you reasons to live. You know, it could be a goal for your kids. Hey man, I'm gonna put away X amount of dollars so my child can go do this. Or so when Christmas time come, this is this is what this is what is gonna be at the end of the year. You know, and though and that's that's what drives life and we don't even know it. I didn't know it. So that's why I say goals are the most important things you should set in life. If you don't have goals set, if that's not a light in your eye in terms of where am I going, where's my destination, and you got a captain in that, a captain in that ship to sell it, chances are your life gonna be all over the place. So like I said, picture a ship with no captain, but it's full, full throttle in life. And some, of, some of us are living reckless like that, and we wonder why we get the results that we get out of life. So man, we got, I always remind people all the time, man, you know, we got one life, bro. We like, it, I think about it every day, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think about it every single day. So it's like, we don't have time. 
Like we don't have time to make the mistakes. We don't have time for the setbacks. You know, how can we get here and we got setbacks? So if you live in reckless, just say if you're getting, your person is out there just getting tickets, uh, speeding tickets and just, you know, things that are setting, setting you back. That money could be used for something that can push you forward. Like I'm a person that thinks like that. Like that's, that's part of being focused. You know, when you set that goal and you locked in, it tends to make you do like you obey yourself. Like, hey, you you're, you're disciplined to yourself. Like, hey, I think, you know what? My friends, they, I see them being, they just do what they want to do. They don't seem to have a control on their life. You know what? I think I'm going I'm to I'm do this my way. I think I'm just going to sit it out. I think I'm just going to come up with a plan and I'm going to stick to it, regardless if, as if it looked like I'm going against the grain when it comes to my friends. So that's when you start sit, feeling the separation. You know, any goal you set, that's going to feel funny because I'm a person, I set so many goals, you know, it started separating me because I want to do something different with my night, you know, then they may want to go out. So when, in other words, when Friday, Friday come, we all done grinded, worked all week. They're ready to get that good meal that Friday. In my mind, I'm saying, okay, I set a goal that I wanted to, to, to drop five pounds. I know if I go do something that's out of my regimen, that's out of what's going to obtain my focus to reach that goal, chances are I may not hit that goal. So what I'm going to do, I still may go and do that dinner with them, but I'm going to go earn the right to be able to go do that. So I may go hit the gym before I go and take that chance to do that. So that means that I'm still focused because I'm not here saying don't live life. I don't believe in all of that. Man, missing out on meals. You know, meals is a part of uh, eating good food is a part of enjoying life. That's, you know, I, I truly believe in it. That's why my plan, you know, that I, the regimen I stick to, I still, I still eat Popeye's chicken and all kind of stuff. I mean, on the daily, I eat this junk on the daily. But uh, that's a, that's another subject I can talk about uh, on that. I'll give you guys the, the game, the spiel on that, the secret there. But um, yeah, man, you set those goals, man. Goals drive life, man. You have to wake up with uh, with a purpose. You know, you have to wake up with a purpose. You can't, you can't, you can't point the finger at the next person and say, "Well, you're the reason why my life is in the shape it's in." No, you, you, you okay? Let me, let me ask you a few questions. Do, do you, do you? Well, okay, what are you looking forward to? What's the next, what's the next thing for you? And I guarantee you, if you, if you ask yourself that question, you may not get an answer. So that's just, that's, that's just a, that's just a realistic, uh, expectation you should set for yourself, man. Whether it's something small, you know, we have to take baby steps in life and then work our way up. You know, that's how life go, man. And you know, and I think that's what, that's another reason social media kind of got our mind a little bit offbeat there because we may, we, we may be sitting looking at somebody that I say this all the time. We may sit and look at somebody that been, that has been uh, saving to go on a trip for three years. Just say they've been saving all their money to go on a trip for three years. You're sitting at work and you're looking at them, they finally take their vacation. You're at work on a Tuesday and saying, man, I wish I can go on a vacation. You may start feeling some, some type of malice way towards your, 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 your significant other because that person ain't got you on a vacation and you stuck at work on a Tuesday. These, you don't even know these people have been saving for that vacation for three years. So it ain't everybody's business how we get things done. Like everybody got a different way to get things done. So if I'm in my phone and I'm looking at what somebody else doing and they on vacation, I'm thinking I should be on vacation like them, even though they saved for three years to do that. Come on now, that's not fair. That's not fair to myself. That's not fair to ourselves. That's not fair to the next person to make them feel like, hey, well, why we're not on a vacation? Cause you may go home with that attitude saying, well, how was your day at work, baby? Oh, well, it was all right. Because you just sitting there watching somebody else have the time of their life when all you have to do is just put your plan in place that goes back to a goal, setting goals. Hey baby, I think uh, we, we need to take us a trip uh, to get another fall or uh, uh, when winter comes, we gonna, where you wanna go baby? I'm gonna go to the mountains, let's go to Colorado. You know, that's setting a goal. So now, instead of you looking at that, them on social media having a good time and that making you feel some type of way, now you got your eyes on the prize. Now you got your mind set on where you need to go to, to get where you need to go. So that's just one of them things, man, I just, I just feel like it's very important. I think people don't think about this. I, I don't hear it come up. You know, it's natural for, for me because I understand I've always done it and didn't know until I listened to an Earl Nightingale. And that's just that's just free game, man. That's not that's information that people may not know. And I, you know, I just want to reference to it, you know, because when you listen to that kind of content, it's kind of boring. 
Like you listening to those people talk, they kind of talking slow. They're talking back from the 1950s. But I guarantee you, if you listen to the message that's in it, because understanding is key, and, and I'm gonna do an episode on understanding why understanding is key. Then that's how you that's how you that's how you get a, a, a grab on life. Everybody don't have the opportunity to get it right. Some people done, done dug such a deep hole for themselves. It, it may it may not be possible to turn around. So that's why we have to stay focused, man. We have to put that energy, that 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 effort into life every day until it crack. Anything I've ever put my interest to into that any goal that I've ever conquered, which is why that, that's like a victory to yourself when you set a goal and you accomplish it. You're like, oh my God, I was able to do that. Like, how was I able to set that goal and accomplish that goal? Oh God, it's just the best feeling in the world. And then guess what you do? You turn right around and set another goal where somebody else may be looking at you like, man, you never you never have enough. Oh man, you, you keep setting all these goals. Yes, keep doing it. Cause you guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna see your life grow. You're gonna see it grow. You're gonna see you making a step. And then before you know it, you where you need to be. And at that point, what do you do? You stay focused. You remain you remain focused. It's the hardest thing in the world to do is be focused. Somebody asked me that one time. They just saw it's looking at my life from the outside looking in. And my life ain't all that. But I've been always been a person that's trying to have a life. You know, whether it's with a family, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That I feel gonna give me life in the short little time that we're living on earth. You look around, your time is just gone. But they asked me one time, man, you seem to have it all what from this point can drive you what drives you now i said man just staying focused i said man it's all about staying focused at this point if you can't stay focused on what you're doing then chances are everything that you have gained and and, and, and built up um you're gonna lose simply because you didn't know how to obtain it there's many people that can buy things but can you be disciplined enough focused enough to where you can obtain it. That's the real irony in having and growing with things because you don't want to keep repeating. You buy a car this year, it's got to go back. You got to you gotta set that goal again. Okay, when I get my, my taxes, I'm going to buy another car this year. I've seen this cycle. I've been in the car business. I've seen this cycle works over and over. And I'm just saying, man, that person will never be able to get ahead because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to that point to where our money is our money. When we get paid, it ain't obligated out whether you're doing it by yourself or whether you're doing it with a partner. So I just, you know, I just, that's just a little piece of uh, information, man. I just wanted to step in and say, man, it's your boy Feast. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you can get the latest updates. And um, to the next episode, deuces.